everybody, and welcome back to some more Pro Nuzlocker Tries Learning Competitive Battling. In the last episode, we wrapped up day number two of the Galler Beginnings online tournament competition thing that they put on in the Battle Stadium. And that was finishing day two, meaning we have done 30 of our 45 matches. And last episode hit really hard because... We go over to our online competitions here. Our ranking is going to be looking really, really bad. <laughs> we didn't do good. We're right now um, standing 17,090, which that's because we haven't finished our 45 battles yet. But we're doing pretty poorly. I actually added up all the matches from the past four episodes, being day one and day two. And we are currently standing. We have won 17 out of our 30 matches. So we're 17 and 13. Uh, win and loss. And to put into perspective how bad last episode was, nearly half of the 13 losses were last episode. We lost six of those eight games. They It was just a stomping fest that entire episode. And I, I've been thinking about it over the day, and it's, it's been hitting me, you know? I know I'm new to this and I'm learning, but that hit hard. So we need to come back really strong this episode, bring that up. I want to do a lot better than 17 and 13. Let's try not to lose too many, but it's it's all up to whatever happens. You know, I'll try my best. But with that being said, we need to jump into this episode because we still have 15 matches to do, and that'll be taking place over this and next episode. So let's just jump into the battle. We can only use the one team we've been using this entire time. We've done 30 battles out of the 45 we're allowed. And I just want to learn things. Even if we lose really poorly, Learning things about Pokemon that I don't know about because of competitive battling, like, say, oh, I know Porygon Z is not in the game. This is an example, like, Porygon Z carrying a certain move that I just wouldn't think about because I'm not a competitive player. So that type of thing, I just like to learn things that I'm not going to forget by getting brutally beaten by them. That's a, that's a good way to learn, I suppose. And <laughs> um, I'm wearing a lot of red. This is on accident. I didn't realize I don't know how to dress myself. <laughs> um, I, that's just me. But think of it as I'm wearing red because I'm covered in the blood of my enemies. Actually, probably covered in the blood of my Pokemon because it's not been going too well. But we're going to pick it up. I only won two of the eight games we did last time. That's unacceptable. I have to at least win four of these eight games I'm doing this episode. We have to. We might do seven this episode. I don't know. That's how I've been doing. Seven and then eight. But 13 losses over these 30 battles, right? That isn't bad. Um, just a little bit better than um, half and half. But um, the problem with that is six of those were in one episode. <laughs> That's... That means if I didn't have a bad time last episode, we'd be sitting really good for somebody that's not got a great team. Uh, and for somebody that's new to this competitive battling thing, obviously I still have a ton of Pokemon knowledge and I'm really good at Nuzlocke, obviously, but this is a whole different beast than Nuzlocke, which for those of you that might be wondering, does he know that? Yeah, of course I do. It's not anything like that. But there's still a lot that you can learn from doing... Uh, challenge runs that can be, you know, transferred into competitive battling, obviously. Um, but I hope we can find an opponent. Uh, <laughs> that would be really unfortunate if all of a sudden I just can't find anybody. Have that problem my friend was having with single battles. I'd be pretty sad to just all of a sudden not be able to get into a match after doing 30 in a row. Thank you very much. It is currently 10 o'clock at night, so I'm guessing, oh, it's going to be Ophelia. I mean, that could be the UK or something, but in that case, they got a worse sleep schedule than I do. <laughs> um, oh, Gastrodon's interesting. Uh, I feel like I've seen this team before, but... Yeah, they're all just similar Pokemon. But Lucario's cool. Um, half the team's weak to Lucario, but Gastrodon covers me pretty good. I'm going to lead Pulte, guys. Uh, I feel like doing that. And lead... I want to have Grimmsnarl in the back. Along with... Actually, I, I want to bring Rotom and Lucario is what I'm thinking. So let's leave Grimmsnarl. And let's take Rotom and Lucario with me. Um, lead Pulte, guys. 
like I've said in the past few episodes, this team is not great. It's the first singles team I've ever made for competitive battling. They don't function as a team. They function more as single units. Hey, we got a 13-year-old here. 420. <laughs> I, you never know. My friend Hylia's birthday is 420. Theirs could be as well. Let's not be so quick to judge. Anyways, she's got a Corviknight. All right, Corviknight against who did I lead? <laughs> um, holy guys, that's right. Um, I don't think I take this thing out even after Shell Smash. So I feel like I should switch. As yeah, if I switch into Rotom, I don't really see why this could go wrong for me. And maybe they'll even switch. Worried about something? Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I don't see how Corviknight does much of anything to Rotom here. And we can either force a switch, get a burn up. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and U. She's going to go ahead and U turn, which is fine. Not going to do much damage at all to Rotom. Take that really nicely. It's not going to break. My Pulte Geist is Sash. And they now get to pick whatever they want to go into Rotom. But I have a feeling none of her Pokemon are going to want to go into Rotom here. Excadrill, if it has Mold Breaker, perhaps, which would be unfortunate. Because I don't have anything to switch into that. Like, I just have to lose Rotom here. I All right, it's not the case. So I'm guessing that she's also got Excadrill. I'm guessing Tyranitar, Corviknight, and Excadrill. The Sand for uh, Excadrill. But this is perfect because I can slap Will-O-Wisp on this thing and if she switches, hey, we get a burn on something brilliant. And I don't think Mirror Armor reflects Will-O-Wisp. If it does, it's good to know. But we land that Will-O-Wisp real nicely. And I don't know what he's gonna, she's gonna do here. Um, Dragon Dance is a possibility I've seen. Yeah, Dragon Dance. That's pretty pointless at this point. I just kind of end all of her Pokemon, if I'm correct on guessing the Excadrill is in the back. Um, the only issue would be a Gastrodon, because that would soak up Max Geyser, and it would basically waste my Dynamax. I'd be able to do nothing against the Gastrodon, which is quite bad. In this case, I kind of want to go into Lucario here. But it's also, it's, Lucario is really bad if, you know what, we'll go Hydro Pump, and if she does have Gastrodon, that sucks, but I don't want to Volt Switch, because for one, if she switched, I'd still be stuck in anyways, and Lucario coming in against Excadrill would be really, really bad, because it would just outspeed in the sand for certain and end me really quickly. Please land. Yeah, we do. All right, the sand's going to weaken it, obviously, because it is a rock type. But it should still deal a decent amount of damage. And it does. Alright, I'd like to see that. Um, I don't know if I want to Dynamax my Rotom this game. The thing is, another crunch from this Tyranitar doesn't knock me out if it's not a critical hit. And it'll activate my berry. So I just feel like my best case scenario is... I'm trying to think. That Corviknight. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the sand. I'm going to go Max Geyser. I feel like if she has Gastrodon in the back, she would not have attacked. Don't make me regret this! Yes, it's going to be Corviknight. All right, perfect. You don't want to see Gastrodon there because it wastes my Dynamax. I would have to switch or just Max Guard. Or, and, like, that makes no sense. I can't use Max Lightning. I can't use Max Geyser, assuming it has Storm Drain. I don't know what the other ability is. I forget. But I doubt it's more valuable than Storm Drain. Gastrodon works really well with the sand here because it can soak up um, water type attacks with ease, being immune to it. Well, this is going to get rid of the sand, but not in the way I wanted. I wanted to get rid of Tyranitar in the sand, because now Tyranitar can just come back whenever it wants. But Max Geyser is going to do a massive amount of damage to that Corviknight with a critical hit, which is nice. Paying back the crit that it got on me with Crunch at the start, which makes me feel pretty good. And it's going to go ahead and pop a berry. It's a healing berry. Okay, probably citrus. Maybe not. Yeah, it is. Okay, um, in this case... I kind of want to just drop Max Lightning. I'm pretty sold on the fact she doesn't have Gastrodon because it would have been the easiest switch in in her life. And we're faster than Corviknight, which kind of shocks me. I have no speed investment on this Rotom at all. That's mind-blowing. I figured Corviknight was faster than that, but apparently a no-speed-invested Rotom outspeeds a no-speed-invested Corviknight. Assuming it has... I, if it had speed, it would outspeed me. There's no way it wouldn't. So... Like, I don't know how slow they are, but come on. Let's be real. If it had speed investment, it would have outsped me. And Excadrill. I knew it was going to be Excadrill. She just loses the game at this point. Um, Her best bet here would have been to go into Tyranitar, sack it off, get the sand for Excadrill. 
Her best bet now is the Dynamax and Max Guard, just to finish my Rotom's Dynamax, which it, I didn't see Mold Breaker, so I don't really know what Excadrill does here. Yeah, he, she's just going to give up at this point. Uh, maybe go for the flinch. That was a crit, too, which sucks, but it puts me into berry range, meaning this Excadrill can't do anything to Rotom even when I D-Dynamax if we flinch here, which we didn't, and we can hit it with the Max Geyser, and that's the game one, because no matter what, the Tyranitar is out of commission because it's burned. Um, it did live on with its Sash, though, but again, it doesn't have Mold Breaker. It has the Sand ability for the Tyranitar, I would guess. Meaning, it can't do anything to me here, even, unless it would flinch me to death. But that would only be stopping me from getting a 3-0. Um, Will-O-Wisp is more accurate than Hydro Pump, so the only way this would be a bad turn is if she switched. Or Dynamax, but that's a waste of a Dynamax. Um, the fight's over, but I get fighting. Um, Tyranitar can't do anything to Lucario. They have to break the Sash on Poltegeist. The game's over at this point, which is really good. I'm glad to start the episode with a win. We had some bad run-ins last time. But the Dynamax will assist it to get rid of um, Rotom. And this is also going to bring up the Sand, which is really useful for her. Um, but, again, it can't do anything to Poltegeist because it has to break the Sash. And then Lucario will be in the back for the Tyranitar. It's just over at this point. I don't even need to Shell Smash. I'll probably just Shadow Ball or Giga Drain. Shell Smashing would be useful, but, like, what if I don't outspeed while it's in the sand, right? So, I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball. It's the safest bet. I have to get rid of the Excadrill because if the sand's up, it's too dangerous. Yeah, this will get it some defense, but it doesn't matter. It's only on 1 HP, or 2 HP, rather. So, we will go down to the sand here. But, again, uh, Excadrill will as well. And then Lucario finishes off the Tyranitar. With a swift bullet punch for close combat. Uh, whatever I decide. I don't remember how much HP it had, but I'm pretty certain it had a good amount. Um, my best move here probably actually would have been Giga Drain. Um, I don't think the HP I would have got, though, would have given me enough to survive the sand. So it doesn't actually matter. This just makes it a little more swift because Tyranitar can't do anything to Lucario. Uh, unless it crit me with, like, an Earthquake if it happens to have it. But, again, I think its HP is low enough where a bullet punch... Uh, close combat outspeeds anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, her only hope there was hoping that I had something other than Lucario in the back. Because she hasn't seen my third Pokemon yet. But here it is. It's Lucario. And that's the game won. Um, I'm going to go for the close combat. It doesn't outspeed me. I'm a max speed Lucario. And Tyranitar is just slower than Lucario as a whole. And that's the game. Cool. Bullet punch might not have knocked it out. I, I don't know, honestly. Um... There's no reason not to. It's four times a week to fighting. And that's it for the first battle. I feel great about it. We didn't lose our first match. We're back into it. Um, I normally don't care about win-loss ratio, but since I've added it all up, I might as well go ahead and keep up on it and add another win uh, on the tally and keep up. Let's just see where we stand after doing all 45 battles. Yeah, we're going to continue battling. Let's get into it. We have 14 more to go. Let's go ahead and play In the Fog. I like this song. Oh, it's not really a song. It's pretty quiet, but it just sounds good. I don't know. Give me some. Give me a good fight. Give me somebody with some weird Pokemon. Let me see something unique. Like, I've not seen anybody with a team like mine, which is nice to see, of course. Um, mm, Pangoro and Pelipper are cool. Those are definitely unique. And Bisharp we've, on Bisharp, we've only seen once, so... I'm gonna try and bring the rain out. Uh, Rotom just completely stops Pelipper. Why would you have a Pelipper here? Like, what benefits from the rain? Nothing. Again, all physical attackers besides the Pulte guys. So we're going to go Rotom. Uh, actually, part of me really wants to lead Grimmsnarl. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, there's three Pokemon weak to fighting, and Graplock stops Poltegeist. So I'm gonna lead Graplocked, have Rotom, and then either Lucario. I think Lucario is my better bet here. Beats Mimikyu, beats. Yeah, a lot of stuff's weak to fighting. So I'm gonna double down on the fighting. Graplock, Lucario, and Rotom. Graplock stops Poltegeist dead in its tracks. Um, really hurts Tyranitar, really hurts a, a lot of things here. Um, I didn't know there was a 
card like that with that chicken guy on it or whatever that food restaurant was. That's kind of cool. All right. Lead Poltergeist. I'd love to see it. We're in Melanie Stadium, too, which you love to see. It does have a Poltergeist. I'd love to see it. All right. So this fella right here is about to have his world turn upside down because I'd like to take a minute just sitting right here. Tell this Poltergeist how shell smashing is not the best option for him. Unless he knows I have Topsy Derby. This is so funny when it works. I've done it before. And I'm willing to take the risk here and anticipating it. Yeah, he's gonna shell smash! I knew you were gonna shell smash! Because you don't see this Pokemon's name. This grab block is called the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Cause he'd like to take a minute just sitting right here to tell you how his world got turned upside down. Look at this, it's so good. What? White herb shell smash? That makes no sense! Oh, it actually makes it better off because the white herb stopped the... It doesn't have a sash either! Look at that! Look at him! He's mad! <laughs> Minus two attack, special attack, and speed! Let's go! We're gonna bulk ourselves up! <laughs> Wait, doesn't that boost stored power still? It might. Am I an idiot? If it does, it doesn't matter. I'm fine with that. There you go, shell smash. <laughs> That's so good! Now he's just back to normal, and I got a bulk up! Oh, and he doesn't have a sash. He's got white herb. This is cute. This is cute. Look what he did. He gave me a free bulk up. Minus one defense is magical dead! Oh! Oh! God, I'm dying! Shell smash again. No, he's just shadow ball. That makes no sense! It's not gonna kill me. There's no way. Thank you. <laughs> Payback's a bitch! Oh, it's so good! Oh, stop it! Stop the bleeding! <laughs> oh, that was too fun. I, this is why I use fun Pokemon. The dude's never fought a grab block before. He's like, he's sitting at his screen going, like, what? That makes no sense. All right, we got to mimic you now. Uh, we're bulked up, too. So, like, what happens here? Is he going to source dance? Is he that stupid? <laughs> is he that stupid? No, he's just going to play rough me. And I don't care. Um, Rotom can shrug that off, but like... Hmm, does he use Swords Dance like a dummy? <laughs> I'm not willing to risk switching. Is he actually gonna Swords Dance right now? I'm, I'm willing to risk it. Is this man getting played? Nah, he's just gonna play rough. <sighs> It was fun while it lasted. I was I didn't think he'd be that dumb, but I didn't want to switch into Rotom on a swords dance. That would be bad. And it's life orb too, which is good to know. Alright. Um uh, I guess we just burn it. Sure. It's not swords dance, so. Man, when Fresh Prince works, he puts in work. Like that got rid of a big threat in Poltegeist, and he never saw that coming. He sat there. Had no clue. He's like, what's this thing gonna do? He's gonna switch. I'm gonna shield smash. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, please get burned. This will be brilliant. Swords dance in my face. Oh, we're faster? How are we faster than a Mimikyu? What? And it did swords dance. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Does Topsy Turvy lower its stats if there's nothing to change? That doesn't make any sense. But, like, why am I faster than a Mimikyu? No, it's just plus two attack. And it's burned, too, mind you. So, like, this is where we just max Lightning here. Actually, we'll max Geyser. Yeah, I think this is the Pokemon I want to Dynamax this turn. Because if he doesn't Dynamax right here, he loses Mimikyu. And that's brilliant. Because that's two Pokemon down... And whatever he has left, if it's like Pelipper, which would be so strange to bring with these two. Like, Pelipper has no purpose on that team, as far as I'm aware. Uh, but maybe it's just something I'm not seeing. Like, maybe he had a Barrascuda or something, which that would have been really good to see. Barrascuda, Pelipper. Um, yeah, he just loses Mimikyu here. Right? This will finish it off. And if not, Life Orb will. Oh, it's Disguise! Dummy! I, I forgot. I thought I broke the Disguise for some reason. Um, well, it doesn't knock me out, so it doesn't matter. It's just gonna go down next turn. And I'll max lightning in case he does have something other than... Well, something that can take a water hit decently. Yeah, the only chance he had was, like, a crit. Even then, I don't think crit shadow claw kills. 
Um, his best bet here is just to Shadow Sneak, get a little bit more damage off. What are his other Pokemon? Pinkora. Yeah, everything does not want to take an Electric Attack. So we'll just Max Lightning at this point. Uh, Dy Dynamaxing his Mimikyu here to Max Guard would be a good strategy, I guess. But it's kind of a dumb one. Yeah, he has to Shadow Sneak. Doesn't do anything either. My Rotom's just too good. Get the Life Orb damage, and then Max Lightning gets up the Electric Terrain, which is going to be really sweet to see. And whatever his last Pokemon is, it'll go down to Lucario, because everything else he has is weak to fighting. Except Pelipper, which just goes down to a Thunderbolt. <laughs> Even if it protects Max Guard's uh, Lightning. Yeah, he's just done at this point. All right, I'm loving to see it. Two more wins, you know? Nice to get some wins under our belt after the travesty that was last episode. It is Pelipper. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's cool. Uh, it's going to Dynamax Max Guard, but I just Thunderbolt and win. So he either gives up right here, cancels, or tries. He's going to try. It's not going to work. <laughs> um, Pelipper doesn't have any, like, damage behind it. So even if he Max Guards here and I'm no longer Dynamaxed, he can't knock me out. He probably can't even do a third of my health. What he could do is use Hurricane. Not anymore. I was going to say Hurricane in the Rain and Confuse Me, but, like... Mm -hmm. That's what I thought would happen. Uh, max Lightning doesn't work because of the Max Guard, but then I just D-Dynamax and use Thunderbolt. With the Electric Terrain, Thunderbolt has got a one-shot of Pelipper, you would think. Like, you would be, you would really think! And I outsped Mimikyu, so you'd think I'd outspeed Pelipper. I guess not. Yeah, Max Airstream's not going to do anything except give him some speed. Yeah. Uh, when he could, he, I could take two more of those because the next one would pop the berry and I'd probably take that as well. But this should just one shot him at this point, and that's the game. Oh, it has a sash. Why? Why would it? All right, this is a weird team, but you know, my team's weird too. Maybe it has some uses. I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. A sash. All right, I, I might go down to a max geyser here. It's a tough call. Yeah. That's fine. We have Bullet Punch Lucario, and then the game is done. Lucario works really well as, like, a revenge killer. Like, coming in and finishing something off with, like, a Bullet Punch. I love that. And Graplock put in good work this fight, which you love to see. Because Graplock has not been the most usable Pokemon on the team. I've been honest with that. Oh, it's d done Dynamaxing already, huh? Right, I'm gonna write down the win, because, like, sure, something could happen. No, nothing can happen. <laughs> it's over. We bullet punch. If I lose the game right here, I'll just end the video. <laughs> yeah, we win. Uh, even if it had priority, there's nothing it could use to knock out Lucario in one shot. You wouldn't think. I don't really know what Pelipper gets. It, it doesn't have Drizzle as far as... I mean, it, yeah, it probably does. Uh, the other one's Keen Eye. Why would you bring Keen Eye into a competitive battle? That seems kind of confusing. <laughs> uh, it has Drizzle. It just didn't activate because the rain was already up when it came into the fight. All right, yeah, let's keep battling. Let's bring on some more fights. Let's do wild Pokemon. No, that sound, that's no good. Let's do trainer music. We haven't heard that at all in this series. Um, and we're fighting trainers. So, I mean, it's kind of the most fitting music. Fighting Doug, my man. I used to watch Doug when I was younger. All right, this is cool. I like this. Got Ninetales, Cinderace, Seismitoad, and Cloyster. Pokemon we haven't seen much of at all. We've seen Cinderace and Cloyster once. Um, for Rothorn, we've seen a lot. But this seems like a Lucario lead. Ninetales would be bad, but we could switch into Rotom. Um, how do I get rid of Cinderace is the good question. Um, Pultigeist. Let's go. Lo Rotom, Lucario lead. Rotom in the middle. Pultigeist in the back. Let's do it. No Eskew yet this episode, which is surprising. We've used Eskew a lot. But. Won't see any big weaknesses here. Seismic Toad gets covered pretty hard by Max Overgrowth from Pultigeist. Um, Lucario takes out Cloyster. Um, Ferothnorm. Tyranitar. Rotom Wash takes out Ninetales. And Cinderace. Um, Pultigeist takes out Cinderace as well. So, this is a really good start here. I'm hoping that they lead Cloyster, Shell Smash, and I can Swords Dance, and they have to switch at that point, or they lose the game. Because then I could just... Like, that's happened to me before, actually. Then I could um, Dynamax, Max Steel Spike, get some defense, and then just Max Knuckle my way to victory. So, Frothorn is set for that. Interesting. I'd be like, Frothorn has to switch. Because I could literally, right here, right now, click Close Combat... Call it a game. 
So let's Swords Dance get that boost. I've been greedy with the Swords Dances. They didn't switch, so I do am kind of concerned. We are max speed, so we'll be taking maximum damage from a Gyro Ball. That's just going to put Stealth Rocks, which is completely useless. Uh, actually, it's... Eh, I call it useless in 3v3 because that's what I've been told. But it's actually really useful here because it breaks my Poltegeist's Sash, which completely nullifies its use in this fight. But I already got a Swords Dance up. And there's nothing on this guy's team that can take a Max Knuckle very well. So I say we just go for the Max Knuckle here and try to take it out. I want to go for the Max Steel Spike to get some defense. But... That wouldn't be very good against Cinderace if it comes in here. So I'm going to Dynamax. Hopefully he switches into Cinderace because that's my biggest threat on his team. And my answer to it was Poltegeist, which is no longer going to be an answer because I have broken my Sash with the Stealth Rock. So let's just try and get as many boosts as we can on Lucario here. Um, if he stays in, that's going to be plus three attack. And I guess Cinderace just revenge kills me with like a Pyro Ball Dynamax, but... I don't really know what I'm supposed to do against that. I guess that does kind of waste my Dynamax then. But that's it for Ferrothorn. I probably should have played with Ferrothorn a little bit. And just went for Smack Steel Spike over and over. But I guess by doing that, I'd end up getting Leech Seeded or something. And this way, the only damage I'm going to be taking is going to be from the Life Orb. So please no Cinderace, but I'm guessing that's probably what it is. Uh, Seismitoad would be a good answer to me because I'd outspeed it. But now Cinderace is going to come in. This just ends me then from a Max Flare. Which I feel like Rotom takes. Let's just double check really quick. Pyro Ball is physical, right? Like, I'm pretty certain Pyro Ball is physical. Which means that my Rotom would take that better than it, uh, if it would be a special attack. Pyro Ball is physical. Hmm. But that completely forfeits my Dynamax. But you know they're going to Dynamax. Here's what we do, actually. We max guard, since I'm going to be switching anyways. So I stall a turn of their Dynamax. Which they didn't even Dynamax. Why? That's confusing. That makes me want to stay in. <laughs> I think I can take a Pyro Ball from this thing. Without it Dynamaxing. Ooh, don't make me... If I attack here and this guy does any Dynamaxes, well played. That's tough. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> I'll go for it. Well played, kind of. Kind of, but, like, not? <laughs> that was, like... What? That's so weird! So why that's good for them, I suppose, is they wanted to stall my Dynamax, but now I just switch into Rotom and take, like, no damage at all. I'll, like, take 10 damage from this, and it's gonna be brilliant. But it, it can't paralyze me either, because I'm an electric type. This is literally just the perfect switch in in my life. And it missed with Oh, dude, I'd be so mad if I was this guy. All right, you can't miss, Rotom. I will be so mad. It might just switch into Seismitoad, but Seismitoad can't take water moves very well, so. <laughs> the luck hit. Yeah! Oh, you missed bounce and then gunk shot. The dude's seething. This is where the switch gets turned off, and it gets the connection error on the screen. Oh, my Rotom is so clutch. I don't think he's missed a Hydro Pump, which is, you know, I don't want to get cocky there, but, like, that's a good stat to have. And then Ninetales, yeah. And it's, ooh, and Shiny Ninetales. I like it. It's cool. It's just Shiny Ninetales. I love it. And no Drought. Yes! No Drought! We just win! He can cancel. There's, like, no chance out of this. I know he's got his Dynamax still. But why was... Oh, Max Overgrowth, probably, because of Solar Beam. We ain't out of this one. <laughs> We are not out of the woods on this one quite yet. Do I li no, I don't live a Max Overgrowth specially. There's no way. That's why he was saving the Dynamax. 
No, it doesn't have max overgrowth. Yes, it doesn't have solar beam. It's going to weaken hydro pump, but like it doesn't matter, I don't think. Because I need to hit. I just said I haven't missed a hydro pump yet. This is not the time to miss your hydro pumps, my bud. Not the time. Thank you. All right. Um, I got to deal as much damage to this thing as possible. Because a part of me feels like I outspeed Ninetales with Lucario. Absorb Bulb? Why? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Uh, let's try and paralyze it then. I don't think we'll live another Max Flare, though, is the question. Because it's... Oh, now... What? It does have... Max, it was... Oh, it was weakening the Hydro Pump. No. Oh, boy. So my only chance here... All right. Is I outspeed with Lucario. So I say we just sack uh, Poltegeist to stall out the Dynamax. Because it's useless anyways because the Sash will be broke. If anything, we can get ourselves Shadow Ball HP. Old damage on it. Uh, yeah, the Stealth Rock's going to do unfortunate damage there. I could get the Sash back, I think, with Giga Drain. But I don't think I'll deal enough damage. So I just have to click Shadow Ball in now, and if Poltegeist outspeeds, then we win. No, it's faster. Oh, man. No, I'm actually going to lose after all of that. Oh, that switch, though, on Lucario might save us here, but I have to knock it out with a close combat, which that sounds possible, but I don't know if I outspeed. We'll have to check if Poltegeist is faster than my Lucario, because if it is, then we just lose the game. But... We're going to lose anyways. Now, unless it's fire attack, is fire blast, and it misses. He's not had the best of luck with those low accuracy attacks. Um, yeah, we are. Um, we just go for it then. Like, there's nothing else I can do about it. Please outspeed. Lucario, you can do it. No, it's mystical fire. Could I live that? Not in the sun. Oh. I can't believe I lost that. That sucks. That's what he was waiting for. Dynamax is what, nine tails. That thing, the Stealth Rocks is what did it, I think. Because Poltegeist would have been able to revenge that. Stealth Rocks. Out of everything they could have used. Stealth Rocks. That was pretty good. All right. Um, I, that, that loss hits, hurts me the most, I think, out of any loss I've had yet. That hits. I, mean, I thought that was wrapped. I thought that was done and over with. Oh, my goodness. Communication error. What? I've not seen that yet. Why don't you say, you are banned for gloating. <laughs> I didn't gloat. You can't hear me. I'm in the comfort of my own home. <laughs> Big brother, I tell you what. All right. Please. Hop to battle number 34. I am ready for it. I am amped. I am pumped. Bring it to me now. I need a good match. After that last one, like how fast is nine tails? I mean, it must be like a max speed nine tails. That would make sense. It would have to be right. Like my Lucario is max speed. I just don't feel like nine tails is that quick. But I might be wrong. Siri, please. Why is Bulbapedia always at the top? Like it's just easier for me to see stats on Siri. Probably because I'm more used to it. No, no hate to Bulbapedia or anything, but, um, yeah, it's based 100 speed. I guess they are really quick. Like, I don't recall Ninetales being that quick, but it's been a while since I've used one. All right, um, this is gonna suck. I already know it's gonna suck. They got a stupid Galarian Corsola. Oh, I don't want to spend 30 minutes in a battle. Can you just, like, forfeit right now? I'm, to be fair, I've never fought one. Um... I'm going to lead Grimmsnarl, maybe. Let's lead Grimmsnarl. Have Rotom. Maybe Poltegeist. Sure. Um, Lucario doesn't serve the biggest purpose in this fight. But how do I beat Ferrothorn? That does suck, actually. I, I'm just gonna commit. Like, whatever. We lose, we lose. Who cares? I just want to get this fight over with as quickly as possible. Because I have a bad feeling this Galarian Corsola is not gonna be fun. I have never fought one. Their name is literally Haunt. Maybe that they have fun in stalling people and wasting people's time. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Corsola. I bowed on. Who did I lead with? <laughs> Why do I always do that? I'm going to taunt it because I feel like this thing could have stealth rocks. Like, genuinely. Which sucks, though, because if it just earthquakes and kills me, that would really suck because I need Grimmsnarl for the Corsola. I'm willing to go for it, though. Taunt. Come on. I feel like it's going to use Stealth Rocks, and I can't have that with Poltegeist in the back. That's too big of a concern. Well, the Sandstorm is up. <laughs> this is true. Uh, but it won't be forever. Come on. I mean, it might. this battle might be less than five turns. Well, he thought a long time, so I think he just went for the attack, which I probably should have done. Yeah, he used Stealth Rocks! I knew what you was gonna do! Don't even come at me, Hippowdon! The sand means nothing! I have leftovers! I'm gonna bulk myself up! I'm going for the awesome Grim Snarl sweep that we haven't seen yet. But if I can bulk myself up against something that's not capable of much damage, and then I can just Darkest Lariat my way to victory. I feel good about that. And that's the way to play, in my opinion. It's just going to Earthquake me, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to do a lot of damage, isn't it? How much? Not the most. I feel like I can shrug that off with Bulk Up. Well, with the leftovers, I was going to say. But I forgot. The sand. Um, well, I'm going to go for it. This is where I wish this was a Rest Sleep Talk set. That'd be fun. Just rest that off. If I was him, I wouldn't go for another EQ. I'd be kind of worried about what this Grimmsnarl is going to do here. Yeah, and switch out! Yes! I'm not a rest user. And he's got the Corsola. Oh, it's a shiny Corsola, too. It's not? I don't know what they look like. Okay. Does this thing get haze? I don't know, but, like, I brought Grimmsnarl to taunt this Corsola. So, because of that, we're gonna taunt this Corsola. Actually, I refuse to use a move on this without looking up its abilities. Because if it gets magic bounce. And I don't know that, I'll be sad. Okay? Um... This is how you learn. You remember those days of looking the things up that you looked up. There you go. Corsola. Galarian Corsola's abilities. Her cursed body and weak armor. All right. No magic balance. I don't know what they do. That's the thing. I think it's going to, like, strength sap me. But that's a status move. You can't do that past the taunt. Please. Yes! You are walled by my Grimmsnarl! This is satisfactory at its finest. When the sand is going to go down. I, maybe he did this so he could bring the sand back up. Because that is a big threat here. Um, We're what? Plus two? I kind of want to just attack. I want to get rid of this thing. What does Misty Terrain do again? I apologize. I looked up the terrains a hundred times. No, not Tinder. Uh, terrains. Misty Terrain. Prevents Pokemon on the ground to be affecting with status conditions. I mean, I want rid of the course a lot. Let's be honest. Does he have... No, he doesn't have anything immune to dark. Nothing's immune to dark. Is it too soon? I don't think it's too soon. I'm going for it. I could get too greedy. Grimmsnarl! I saw this Corsola and I told myself, please, I can't suffer another stalling match! And then I thought, Grimmsnarl, I choose you! And you've been a monster, buddy! One shot this Corsola. I don't need know how much like they can take with the Eviolite, but I'm guessing it's a lot. Kill it! Your plus two attack! Yes, it's dead! Oh, Dude, I just bested Galarian Corsola, and now the Sandstorm's down. Which sucks, because Hippowdon now comes in, and it'll probably get up at Stealth Rocks. Which, you know, I'm not a fan of it. I never did like the Stealth Rocks. But maybe it's his other Pokemon. He just it's like, really cornered right now. I would hate to throw this fight. I don't remember who else I brought. Was it Rotom? Espeon. That has Magic Bounce. What he should have done was Pivot... Switch into Corsola and then go into Espeon to stop me from bulking up and taunt. That's the big boy plays. I kind of want to just... Max, I want to max Guard, thinking he's going to Dynamax. But I'm going to max Darkness. 
I'd probably go down to a max star fall here. But, like, I should have max guarded. That was the play to stall his Dynamax. But then he could have just max guarded me, stall mine, right? I don't know. I'm just going to go down here. But, but, kids, this is what's good. He didn't get the Stealth Rock back up, meaning my Poltegeist is not going to be in trouble. I can easily revenge kill this thing with my Poltegeist, which this will definitely kill me. It's a special Starfall. We lived it! We lived it! We lived it! Grimmsnarl is too good in the game! Dirty Harry, show this guy what Dirty Harry is all about. Max Darkness! That is definitely a done Espeon. Oh, I feel for him. He had the Wrath of Dirty Harry. That's my Grim Snarl's name if you're new. I'm not just weird saying Dirty Harry out of nowhere. His name's Dirty Harry. It's a Survivor reference. I like that show. It's a shocker. Anyways. <laughs> about on his next. Haunt is gonna be haunted by Grim Snarl. <laughs> I, kind, I just Grim Snarl swept. I feel good about it. I, I genuinely feel good about it. I've never felt better. And he gave it to me, too. He didn't cancel the battle on the final turn. This could actually live this. Oh, I didn't Grim Snarl sweep! I can't call the video Grim Snarl sweep! No! It used slack off. My dude. He's actually trying. I almost got the Grim Snarl sweep. I'm sad. I mean, I could crit, right? And then we get the Grim Snarl sweep, and that'd be brilliant. <sighs> Give it to me. Don't you cancel this battle. Don't you cancel this battle. Give me the Grim Snarl sweep. Give me the Grim Snarl sweep! <laughs> I'm begging you. If I don't end up winning this, 3-0. With my, with my pal Dirty Harry. I'll be disappointed greatly. Mega disappointment. Please. 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 Please! Please! No. Dirty Harry! <laughs> no. I'm disappointed. Um, dude, if this guy actually beats me with a hip out on... Because of slack off. That'd be kind of pathetic. Don't you think? That would be sad. At that point, I would feel depressed. <laughs> I would quit the YouTube channel. Um, what? But just go losing to something using slack off. That would be unfortunate. I've literally claimed you've never missed a hydro pump. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, now's not the time, Rotom. Now's not the time. Now's not the time. There we go. It wasn't a dirty, hairy sweep, but it was close, okay? It was awful close. He almost did it. But he did, he basically did it. Let's be real. We couldn't have won that battle without his help. I'm, I'm so proud of Dirty Harry. He's done wonderfully. All right, we're going to continue battling, of course. Search for that trainer. Let's do Marnie, too, because Marnie's got some good music. Let's go ahead and tap another win on our counter. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. We, we were doing pretty poorly, but we're, we're, we're trying. Whimsicott, no. <laughs> um, I kind of know what they're going to go for here. So my Rotom's just a good lead, probably. But like, Whimsicott terrifies me. Can't use Prankster on a Prankster Pokemon. Or a Dark-type. So I feel like Dirty Harry might be another good lead. Um... Somebody wants to set up a terrain for Halucha to come in and unburden everything, I think. So, I'm thinking Dirty Harry, Hypnotherapy, Rotom. It's been committed. I'll see you in a few minutes when we lose the battle. <laughs> um, Whimsicott's an always a frightening thing to fight. Like, it's just terrifying. That guy's trainer card's interesting. I don't know what he's doing there. Is he going down a roller coaster or something? It's entirely possible. Roller coasters are fun. Anyways, we got our man over here with the Whimsicott. With the Sandaconda. Ooh, scammy. I'm not going to attack it. <laughs> this is like the same idea. 
as last time. But I don't know if these use status moves. I feel like they do. I feel like this is the same start as the Hippowdon. Come at me. Stealth rock me. Glare. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that. All right, kind of the same concept. You're not glaring me, bud. I taunted you. Please. This set, by the way, for Grimmsnarl, I got from Pokeaim MD. And instead of taunt, there was another move there. But like... Taunt has worked so much better for me. Yeah, Switch. All right, what we got? Come on. Whimsicott. I'm frightened. I'll be honest. I think it's going for the... The... Moonblast. But I'm going for the Max Starfall. I know they're sashed. But Dynamaxing, I should be able to live a Moonblast pretty easily. They're not really attackers. They're, they have an attacking move because, like, it'd be bad to not have a move to deal some sort of damage on somebody, right? So, Moonblast I should take really nicely. Get it down to its Sash. Uh, it, oh, I should have taunted. It's going for Tailwind. Oh, I, can I taunt Prankster Pokemon? I think that's only Dark Types. Prankster just doesn't work on Dark Types. Whatever, I should have taunted. No, I went for Moonblast. I thought so. I did the right play. Max Starfall, this thing. Get Whimsicott out of here. That's a big problem for me. It doesn't even have a sash. Yes, I was taught that all Whimsicott have sashes. I was wrong. Anyways, next is going to be Hawlucha with the Misty Seed. Maybe. If it is, that'd be pretty crazy. I'll probably Max Guard if that's the case, because it would probably Dynamax. And then just go for like a Dynamax sweep with that crazy unburdened speed. But I don't know. We might not see Halucha here. Now it's going to be your boy Sandaconda again. So this one's trying to get up the sand pretty hard here, which makes me feel like there's something that benefits from it. Like a Bisharp, maybe. Yeah, I'll go for the Max Darkness here. Uh, he'll probably Dynamax, but I don't care. Yeah, there's the Stealth Rock. I hate to see it, I'll be honest. You know, I can't get... Poltygeist out here anymore, which is a big, big nerf to my team, but I should be able to at least get rid of this thing. Close enough, anyways. And yeah, I know that's gonna put up the sand, but does it matter? It might actually. It doesn't matter, because that the Stealth Rocks breaks the Sash, so the sand I don't really care about. It doesn't have it. Why? I'm confused. Maybe it doesn't activate Sand Spit, if you're Dynamaxed. If that's the case, Dirty Harry Sweep! Let's go! Oh, man. Did we just Dirty Harry Sweep twice in a row? If this is Bisharp, we did. <laughs> if this is Halucha, we did. Bruh. I think any of his Pokemon just go down to Dirty Harry here. Togekiss, not. Especially because he still has the Dynamax. I forgot about that part. That one key part. I forgot about it. Um, I think I just attack. Oh, uh, I lower its special attack a little. It's going to Dynamax and just kill me with Max Starfall. But you're not taking away the true good part of this fight. Dirty Harry is going 2-0. He's really good. I'm so glad I found that Shiny Morgrim because like, that's why I used him. I was like... You know what? Dirty Harry would be fun. Let's do this. But, you know, I haven't been using him a lot. I'm sorry, Harry. We'll use you more. I promise. Taunt's just really good. But you gotta make a good call. Because if you taunt something that's not trying to use a status move, then it would've been better to bulk up. And you're kind of losing at that point. But, yeah, I'm just gonna get max air speed. I could live that. Harry! No, <laughs> it's not. He didn't live it. I'm sad, but that's fine. It's going to get some speed. Um, the Stealth Rocks are up, so Poltegeist is completely useless. I think we could still lose this. That sucks. Um, my only chance is if Rotom here comes out when the Dynamax is over. So Poltegeist just has to come in. Um, I'm not going to outspeed, so Poltegeist just goes down. There's nothing I can do to stall the Dynamax. 
Could I live an attack from this thing, maybe? I don't know, but we just have to Shadow Ball, right? Deal as much damage to it as we possibly can. But I don't think we're going to get a chance to. I think it's just going to max air stream me to death. We did live it! Yes, that damage is going to be really key. And it also the main point is not the damage. The main point is the fact that it's stalling the Dynamax. Because now once it knocks Poltygeist out, it won't be Dynamax against my Rotom, who can then clean the fight up, is the idea. Uh, and we got a special defense drop too, which is really good. That might be the difference between us being able to take it out with Thunderbolt or not. This was definitely the right play. Max Flare. That's not a problem. Alright, yeah, the Sun's no issue. Uh, it would have been bad if I had... Um, maybe an ice type in the back of the e skew because then it would have helped it knock it out, but no. We've got ourselves Mr. Rotom. Boost Juice in the back. Boost Juice is a reference relating to Dirty Harry, so they work together as one, although that's not how that normally works. Anyways, don't pay any attention to that. Let's just Thunderbolt and hope we win. I don't have anything else to do. Obviously, it's going to outspeed me. What about sped me even without all the max air streams? It could flinch me to death. But I can take a few of those. Ah, dude, if I get flinched four times in a row, I'm just going to be disappointed. That's a dirty way to lose. Like, not the opponent's fault. That's part of the game. But that would that would hurt. That would really hurt. Oh, we're going to get flinched four times in a row. It's like a 30% chance, I think, with Serene Grace. Solar Beam. Maybe it thinks it's in KO range. It very well might be. That's why it used Max Flare. Yeah. That sucks. I didn't get flinched four times in a row, but I lost because of the flinches. That, that, that yeah, I'm pretty salty about that. That really sucks. That's not the first time we've lost a match because of flinches. Oh, that's happened multiple times at this point. That sucks, man. But it is what it is. We lost another one. Man, I wanted to bring up our win-loss ratio, ratio so bad. A little more. And we had such good plays there, too. Go down to a flinching Toga Kiss. No! Ah. Uh, how many have we done? We've done five. Oh, boy. I can't believe this. How could this happen to me? Ah. Uh, anyways. Team Yow Captain. Oh, it's hard to move forward after that one. That's like a late go to bed thing, you know, like lay down and cry yourself to sleep moment. Oh, he made that decision quick. He was like, this team's gigglable. Um That's that's kind of frightening. He made that decision quick. But there's a lot of physical attackers. For Rothorn's bad, but we can make a nice switch in with Lucario. And then I want to handle Dragapult, which, yeah, that's not easy to do. Um, we'll go Poltygeist again. There's been a lot of Stealth Rockers this episode. We haven't seen anybody use Stealth Rock until this episode. It's not the greatest in 3 versus 3 because the battles are shorter, but... Hey, we got a 13-year-old! Look at that! 69! All right! No offense if you're 13, but especially if you don't make your trainer card 69. Because nobody, let's be real, nobody has a good reason <laughs> for that. Alright, so Rotom's my perfect counter here for this Galarian Darmanitan. That's why I let it. Um, everything on this person's team takes a burn really well, except for Rothorn or um, Rotom. That they wouldn't, it wouldn't affect them very much, but really no reason not to here. Although, they could Dynamax and then just beat me. Yeah, okay. Uh, X Control. How many times have we seen this happen? Please! I'm begging you. Don't miss! Good. All right. Uh, how many times have we seen an Excadrill switch into my Will-O-Wisp? It's happened a lot. <laughs> like, so much. We've had this exact scenario go down far too many a time. Um, and now if it doesn't crit me, we're just in a really good spot. Or if it, if it doesn't Dynamax, which would be dumb. Why would you Dynamax when you're burned? That would be kind of stupid. I'm begging you. It's go and I've seen it. A burned Excadrill with Earthquake does not do very much damage. Actually, it does. It does a lot of damage, but it doesn't kill Rotom. Um, even with a crit, I think, was the one that we got hit by. But Dynamaxing 
It really doesn't deal a lot. And I'll be able to just get rid of Excadrill right here. And it didn't crit me yet. It's going to do, like, no damage. I'm a physically invested Rotom. And the Max Geyser just eliminates this thing immediately. Darmanitan can't do much to me while I am Dynamaxed. So it'll kind of force their hand into showing me their other Pokemon, which is really useful because it'll let me know how important the two in the back I have are so I could make some sacrifices should I need to do so for that Darmanitan to go down to this Rotom in the future. Um, it also weakens Flare Blitz out of Darmanitan, which might be useful. I think my... I think I brought Lucario. I don't remember. Uh, I think I did. Anyways, Rotom's just really good. Dragapult, okay. Um, that's frightening. If I can get some chip damage on Dragapult, that's best case scenario. Because then Lucario can just come in and bullet punch it. That's literally best case scenario here. Let's just go Max Lightning. What use is that? Max Geyser does more. I want the, uh... Electric Terrain, but it doesn't serve my other Pokemon, so I guess we just Max Geyser here. Um, because I don't think Dragapult takes me out in one shot, even with a Max Overgrowth, which I don't even know if they can get a Grass-type attack. That's kind of laughable to think that. It's a, the pseudo-legendary. It probably can get any attack it needs, but do they carry it is the question. We're about to find out. Dynamax obviously is going to make its damage go down quite a bit, but I'm going to stall it out next turn if it doesn't one-shot me. Because I'll be able to max guard, and then its Dynamax will go down when I do, if we live this. Yeah, we took it really, really well. Rotom's just a monster. Are you kidding me? This thing's insane. Uh, lowering my defense does suck, though, but that tells me it might be physical, which means Eski would have been a good bring, but they haven't been physical for the most part. Um, not a lot of damage on Dragapult there. I feel like I should have done more than that, but now I'm going to max guard. Um, I probably live another one. But I want its Dynamax to go down, no matter what, when I do. So by doing this, it's going to stop it from knocking me out this turn and still having one turn of Dynamax for my other two Pokemon, which would be really bad, obviously. It would get two knockouts instead of just the Rotom. So I think the safest play for me right now, since I'm having the advantage with Pokemon remaining, to go for the Max Guard to kind of cripple Dragapult and get rid of their Dynamax in the same time. So I'm not too sure what this thing's going to try and do to me. Maybe just go with Phantasm again. No, Wormwind, which lowers my attack, which doesn't pose a threat at all to Rotom. But Rotom does go down here to whatever Dragapult uses, I think. Um, if not, we'll go for the Will-O-Wisp, try and burn Dragapult, since it seems to be a physical attacking one, since it lowered my defense. I mean, maybe not. It might just have had that attack and not be a physical attacker, which if that's the case, we might live. No, we didn't. That sucks. But that's it for Dragapult's Dynamax. And, um, didn't get, like, a speed boost or anything. So, I beat Poltegeist. Not, I, I beat it with Poltegeist, I think. That's really tough. I need to go Poltegeist because I need Lucario for the Darmanitan anyways. So, if Poltegeist doesn't outspeed with a Shell Smash, then we lose. But if it does outspeed with Shell, with shell Smash, then we win. Um, because I just stored power both of the Pokemon, Darmanitan and Dragapult. Actually, Shadow Ball. Yeah. And if it's a physical attacker, we'll know because it'll use it. And no, it's not. It's a special attacker. Which sucks because we don't get speed from the weak armor. Which is a big problem because it might outspeed me. Um, I think the only way they outspeed Shell Smash Max Speed Poltegeist is with a Choice Scarf. But I think it used a different attack than Shadow Ball the first time. Or it might have Dynamax turn one. I don't remember. Um, I mean, there's no way to know other than just use Shadow Ball and try. Please? We'll just lose if we don't have speed. Yeah! Shadow Ball, Pulty guys! And that's definitely it after a Shell Smash. All right, and then all that remains is Darmanitan. And worst case scenario is it has a Sash. Um, actually, Scarf might outspeed... Poltegeist. And if that's the case, then it beats me. But it would have to use something to beat Lucario, which would be Flare Blitz. So if it doesn't... If it's Scarfed and outspeeds and doesn't use Flare Blitz, I think we win. Let's see what happens! We are faster! Stored power! And that's the fight, because even if it lives, we can bullet punch it. There we go! Aw, oh, nice to see another victory coming in. Darmanitan's terrifying, but I sure love to beat it. Let's go ahead and smack another win down there. 
And we're not doing bad. Right now we're at 21 wins out of, what, 36? Which, I mean, we're bringing it up a little bit compared to last episode, but still not the greatest, obviously. But for my first ever competition to enter, that's pretty decent. We'll do one more match for this episode, and then we'll finish the remaining eight in the episode after that. Let's do it with the Rose music and get one final battle. Hopefully we get a win to finish this episode off. We've only lost, what, two matches this episode? Which, if we win this one, that's really good compared to last episode. Um, this is interesting. We've got probably a Gigantamax Lapras, which I hate seeing those things. They're annoying. Um, they got the sand. Everybody runs Tyranitar and Excadrill, I swear. At least four of them are physical attackers. Rotom's just a good lead. Uh, it's not good against Lapras. Maybe they'll predict I lead that. Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to lead Lucario. Take Rotom. And then take... Poltegeist. The same three we just did, but leading Lucario. Anticipating Saint, um, Tyranitar Excadrill lead. Because no matter what, nothing they have takes a fighting type attack well, except uh, Dragapult, obviously. So, I mean, Dragapult would be a bad lead for us. I'm guessing a Lapras lead. Anything that le anything other than Dragapult or Halucha for a lead would be really nice to see. Because then we can just close combat. Um, obviously, they could switch into... Dragapult. So anything weak to fighting is good because then I can just drop a Swords Dance. I have a feeling that's Dragapult. Yeah, it is. Uh, um, I hate that Pokemon! They're everywhere! And they're so versatile! Hmm. This might be a really bad play. Uh, my thinking... And it's going to use some sort of fire type attack. And I think it's even going to Dynamax. Just drop a Max Flare on me. And if it doesn't and it just uses a fire type attack, it would be maybe Choice and Rotom would just be a really good hard switch. I think I want to play tactically here and not just go for it and throw my Lucario away. I want to send in Rotom. Rotom's probably my more useful Pokemon here and it would suck to see it go down right now. It's going to burn me. Okay, that's completely useless. Uh, Will-O-Wisp Dragapult. That's pretty decent. Um, but that was a really good turn for me. Burn on Rotom really doesn't matter. Um, and I don't know what Dragapult's gonna do, though. But I'm gonna try and burn... I don't know what I do to it, either. But I'm gonna burn it. Uh, burn it back. Maybe it's a physical. If not, it's still some chip damage, which might assist in some shape or form. But it can't do much to me. And I'm hoping it switches into something that does not want to burn. With him not thinking... With, that, with her not... Th oh, Hex... What? That's weird. Hex? Dragapult? Why? <laughs> uh, it's interesting. But I don't feel like that's useful. Like, I don't... I think it's the worst Dragapult we've fought. But I don't really have an answer to it. I think I just let Rotom go down and try and set up Poltegeist. Because you know it's not Scarf now. Yeah, and if I can get a Hydro Pump off, I'd want to. So I'll let, just let Rotom go down here. Hex is really weird. I didn't expect it. I like it, though. Props to somebody using something unique. As far as I'm aware, it's unique. Um, and Poltegeist just beats on the Switch. So, Rotom going down was bad, because Rotom's really useful, but... And it might lose me the match, because now I'm not going to be able to handle Lapras if they bring it. But... Not bad! Um, burning me here would be really stupid. I think they'd just go Hex, and not even knock me down to Sash. Thunder Wave. Oh, wow. It's a status? Dragapult? Why? I mean, it's working really well. It kills my whole team. It's just so fast that I can't do anything. Because now I'm not going to outspeed it. But, 
if I can hit, I get rid of Dragapult because I've got the Sash and Thunder Wave doesn't break it. So it all comes down to right now, do I hit? If I don't hit, I lose the game immediately because Lucario just gets burned and it's over. Um, this will now take me down to my Sash because I'm paralyzed. It wouldn't have before, I don't think. Please. If you don't hit, we just lose the game. There's nothing I can do. Damn, that's really, really unfortunate. Status Dragapult. Like, all the other Dragapult I've seen are good, but I feel like this one's just way more dangerous. Because it outspeeds everything. It's like it has Prankster. <laughs> like, it's that wicked. I hate Pokemon that are so common that everybody uses it. Like, I think Landorus, Therian form, was one of them. Like, I didn't play competitive Pokemon then, but apparently it was the most annoying thing on the planet, and nobody liked seeing it, because every team had it, and it was just got boring. That's what I feel like Dragapult's gonna be. <laughs> it's everywhere. Um, my best... Do I outspeed Dragapult? With a, like, it, it might... It's probably max speed, but not Scarf. So no, I don't outspeed it. I'll just Bullet Punch, hope I crit... Like, I don't have a choice at this point. Otherwise, I'm getting burned. I should have Swords Danced, actually. Yeah, Swords Dance would have been the play. Will-O-Wisp, Dragapult. Who would have thought? Dra Will-O-Wisp, Thunder Wave, Dragapult. That stops a lot. Um, I should have Swords Danced is what I should have done. Hex just... Kills me now, right? I'll be able to at least pick up a KO and Dragapult if it doesn't kill me here. I think. I think Bullet Punch with Swords Dance will kill it right now. With its burn. And I'll at least not get 3 would Unless it has Protect, too. If so, that's just dirty. <laughs> that's dirty, dude. Okay, it doesn't. We should get the KO here, at least. All right, we didn't get 3 would <laughs> Wow. Status Dragapult. The things you see. I like when you see things are different. I don't hate dra that Dragapult. I just hate seeing the Pokemon in general. But that was actually really interesting. Seeing a Pokemon with a set that I haven't seen yet. That's fun to me because it's playing differently than everybody else. Just using the same old Dragon Dragapult set. All right, I put that on win. That was a loss, obviously. Um... Yeah, not bad, I suppose. Uh, we're going to quit battling for now, and we'll do the rest in the next episode. But weird fight to end us off on. Um, right now, we are looking at 37 battles done out of the 45 and rank 12,203. So obviously, we've done horrible. Uh, I don't know what rating means, actually, but that the standing is 12,000-something. So we have eight more battles to do. We will be doing that in the next episode and finishing out our first online official competition being the Galar beginning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We definitely did a lot better than the last time and definitely show your support down below with a like, comment, all that stuff. And if you haven't done so already and you like stuff like this or Pokemon Nuzlocks and Wedlocks and all that, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of all future uploads for this series and the channel as a whole. And until next time, I will see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching.